Okay, so welcome to Tutor Tag's uh, video tutorial on equilibrium uh, using the KEQ value or the equilibrium constant. Okay, so last lesson, uh, what we did is we learned how to write a reaction and how to write the KEQ or equilibrium expression or equilibrium law. So here we have the exact same re reaction as last video where we had hydrogen plus Bromine gives us hydrogen bromide. There's supposed to be a two there, and a two there, and these are all gas. And we learned that if this is at equilibrium, this expression at equilibrium can be shown using the equilibrium law, which is a mathematical value that represents if this reaction is product favored or reactant favored. And so this particular example will be uh, the KEQ value should be equal to the concentration of HBr to the power of 2 divided by the concentration of H2 multiplied by the concentration of Br2. Now the important thing, there's two important points about, uh, about this reaction here. Um, first of all, um, you only include gases and aqueous substances in your expression here. So only include gases or aqueous substances in the expression. That's very important. Okay, so the other important thing is that these are the concentrations, these, these values here are concentrations measured in moles per liter at equilibrium. Okay, so they're at equilibrium, not before equilibrium. So remember that when we had our graph last lesson, we said that there was some, something like this, and then we said there was a point in here where they reached a flat line, which was at equilibrium. So these concentrations are the concentrations that are measured at that equilibrium point, not before it. Okay. So now we can use this reaction and this equation here to answer this question. So it's saying that hydrogen reacts with bromine in the two liter container. It also states that the concentration at equilibrium, that's the important thing, the equilibrium concentration of hydrogen and bromine are 0.25. So the concentration of H2 is equal to 0.25. The concentration of Br2 is equal to 0.25, and those are moles per liter, moles per liter. And the concentration of HBr is equal to 1.3 moles per liter. Okay, and so those are the equilibrium concentrations, so we're allowed to use these concentrations in this formula because we said here that only the concentrations at equilibrium are allowed to go into that formula. So we plug them into the formula and you get KEQ is equal to the concentration of HBr, which is 1.3 moles per liter, and we square that according to the formula divided by the concentration of H2, 0.25, times 0.25 moles per liter. And that's all you do in this question, and so I'm running out of space there, but the KEQ is equal to, so you type that in, and you should get 27.04, and so basically equal to 27. And so that's the KEQ for this reaction. We know that if KEQ is greater than one, it's product favored. So that's that, that's that's what that is. So product favored. All right. So the KEQ is greater than one, so it's product favored. Okay. So that's the first question. Second question says using the above KEQ value. Okay. So that's KEQ is equal to 27. In a separate experiment, if the concentrations of hydrogen and bromine are found to be 0.10 at equilibrium, remember that's important. Oops. Then what you gotta do is this. So the concentration of H2 
is equal to 0 0.10 moles per liter, and the concentration of Br2 is equal to 0 0.10 moles per liter. These are the concentrations, remember, at equilibrium. Important, because you cannot use the, the values in that, in that equation if it's not at equilibrium. Okay, so they're at equilibrium here. And what it wants you to do is find the hydrogen bromide concentration. So the HBr concentration equals question mark. So we don't know what that is. So we've got to use our expression again. So KEQ equals the concentration of HBr squared. Now keep in mind I'm getting this from the above formula. divided by H2 multiplied by Br2. So KEQ is equal to the concentration of HBr, which is unknown, squared, divided by the concentration of H2, which is 0 0.10, the concentration of Br2, which is 0 0.10. And we solve, and we also know that KEQ value is equal to 27. So we put in 27 there. So now this is a mathematical equation and we need to solve it. So we just use a little bit of algebra here and so we get HBr squared over and then 0 0.1 times 0 0.1. You type that into your calculator or maybe not and you get 0 0.01. So then to solve this expression you multiply both sides by 0 0.01. So those cancel out. Multiply that by 0 0.01, and so you get times 27, and you get 0 0.27 equals the HBr squared, and then you square root, square root both sides, and you get an HBr concentration at equilibrium of 0 0.52 moles per liter. All right, so that is the equilibrium concentration of HBr. All right, so the main important things is when you're writing out this mathematical representation, the KEQ, which is called the rate law, or sorry, the equilibrium law, or expression. Expression. And so when you write out the equilibrium law or expression, you only include the concentrations at equilibrium. They have to be moles per liter, and it's gases or aqueous.